Welcome student. Today we will start with the second session of Electronic Spreadsheet Advance where we are going to link the data and the spreadsheet. What we are going to cover? We will cover the different topics and they are setting up multiple sheets, how to use multiple sheets, how to create them, create reference to other sheets by using keyboard and mouse, how you can use other sheets in your current working sheet using the keyboard and mouse and then creating reference to other documents by using the keyboard and mouse. How can you use other sheets which you have created? How can you use those sheets in your current sheet? Then what is relative and absolute hyperlinks? Then you will create the hyperlink to the sheets. You will uh, create hyperlink for external data and registered data. The first topic is using multiple sheets. We need different sheets to differentiate between the data like I can maintain my annual sale for each month in different 12 sheets. One for January, February, March and so on up to December. So here I need all the multiple sheets which could be there in the same workbook or it could be there in different worksheets. Then how I can link them, all right? So by default, when you open Calc, we have three sheets here, sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. I click on sheet two, it shows me that I am on sheet two out of three, it means I have total three sheets and I'm currently on second sheet. I can insert a number of sheets. There are total 256 sheets in a workbook that could be there. So maximum 256. So if I want to insert sheets, extra sheets, how many I can insert? 253 because 3 are already here. So there are 3 ways you can insert sheet in your workbook. Right click on any of the sheet and you have the option insert sheet. So insert sheet dialog box will appear which will give you different options. First option is position. You can insert this sheet before the current sheet. Now my current sheet is second. If I want to insert this sheet before the second one, it will be inserted after first and before two. And if I want to insert the sheet after the second sheet, then it will be the third sheet. Here, of course, how many sheets I want to insert? Suppose I want to insert three sheets. I can do that, right? Then I can name the sheet. If I'm inserting only one sheet, the name option will appear, which help you to give it a name. Like I want to give it a name, link spreadsheet. So click on OK and let's see because it I have selected before current sheet so it will be inserted after one and before the second sheet. All right. The second way to insert the sheet is you click on this empty area. Again the same dialog box will appear. I can insert number of sheets together as per my requirement. The third way is you can use the insert menu to insert the sheet. Go to the insert menu and there you have the sheet option. The same dialog box will appear. There is one more way to insert the sheet that is from file. What is from file means you want to use an existing spreadsheet and want to use the data of that sheet into your current worksheet. So that is possible. You do not have to enter the data again and again if you have already inserted it. So why don't you use it over here? You will click on from file and then browse. It will open the insert sheet dialog box. Here you can find out the sheet that you want to insert. Suppose I want to insert uh, this one data consolidation. I'll select this one and click on open. Now over here I can select a particular sheet. These all sheets are there in that particular workbook. I can select any one of them to insert. Click on OK and here you can see the same sheet is inserted here. I'll show you the spreadsheet that I have already created. That was uh, data consolidation and there I have four to five sheets. Out of that I have inserted 2019 sheets. This is my data consolidation work workbook and you can see these are the different sheets. I have inserted 2019. This was the sheet that I have inserted. You can compare it. This is the one, right? So you can reuse the data or it can be used for multiple things, all right? Now the next one is how you can rename a sheet. I have already told you now let's suppose I want to rename, so right click and you have the option to rename the sheet. And this is how you can rename the sheet. Now if you want to delete the sheet, that is also possible. I can right click and I have the option to delete the sheet as well. Then I can select all the sheets. I can move and copy the sheets as well. Then we have tab color. What is tab color? I can select a particular color for a particular sheet.
this is how the tab colors can be used to differentiate between different sheets if your company are following something like that or you have your own uh, format or to differentiate between the data with the colors there was an option to link the data let's insert the sheet once again from file and this time i click on link click on browse and select another sheet now this time i take what it does so here i select this particular sheet and i have it check this option link click on ok now let's see what is the difference when i selected the link option for this particular sheet now when you insert the sheet and when you check the option link data it will ask you to update all the links means if i change anything in my sheet that i have linked over here with which i have inserted over here it will also update the data and it will always ask you whether you want to update or not so if you want to make the updation click on yes or no i want to make updation so i'll click on yes this is the sheet that i have inserted from the external workbook let's open both of them i have inserted another sheet which was 2019 in 2019 i have not checked mark that link one so see the difference now now this is the what if tools workbook where i have used this sheet called seek marks let's change the data here instead of 71 i'll change 75 i'll save it and then i'll close it Similarly, I'll make change in another sheet which I have inserted where the link data option or link sheet was unchecked. Instead of 18,000, I'll change it to 20,000. Again, I will save this and I'll close this. This sheet is open and there is no change. I have changed the marks over here as 75 and uh, in 2019 it was 20. 20,000. So I'll close this one and let's open it once again. It is asking me again to update all links. For the sheet that I have linked, that is the goal seek marks. So I click on yes to see the changes. Okay. So let's see this has been changed because it has asked me to update the link and I have clicked the option link. I'll show you once again this option was checked for this particular sheet so the marks are updated now let's see for 2019 it's not updated so have you seen the difference what is the difference when you select the link option and when you disable it i hope this is clear to you now the next topic is creating reference to other sheets by using keyboard and mouse see i have created different students data over here rohan sohan mohan so hum, kovam, and finally the result. What I have did for creating the result, I had only some data of the each student. Now in the result worksheet, I just put some student name, all the subjects here. Finally, I am finding out the average. This data was not here. So instead of copy and pasting, what I have done, I have used the cell reference. What is it? Let's see it. Now I want the marks of Rohan should be here. Similarly for Sohan, it should be here. What I can do? I can write equal to. Then I will go to the Rohan sheet and I'll select the very first one, which is Hindi marks. Then I'll come back to my result sheet. It will automatically take the address. Rohan is the name of the sheet dot the cell name. The cell name was B2. I'll show you once again. The sheet name was Rohan and the cell address was B2. This was B2. Okay, so this is how it will take the address. And I have used the mouse to link this particular cell. Okay, so this is how I can use the cell reference with the mouse. Press the enter key and it will automatically take up the marks. Now, instead of copying and pasting, I can drag this fill handle and it will automatically fill up all the marks for me. Let's see that whether it is correct or not. 89, 56, 44, 88, 65. So you can see the marks are same as we have in result sheet. The same way we are going to do it for Sohan, Mohan and other students. I have completed my data over here. Then I have found the average. Of course, I will put the average formula then I have selected then. And I have used the fill handle. Let me do it once again for you. I will select the range and then press the enter key. Drag the fill handle. 
to use it with all other students. So this is how I can find the app. Now let's try it with the keyboard. So I'll write equals to Rohan dot B2. See, the same marks are here and I can drag the fill handle to fill up the marks. So it could be done with the keyboard as well as mouse. So always remember whenever you are using the keyboard, you will start with equal to sign. Then you will write the sheet name dot the address of the cell. What if I want to use another workbook data over here? I can use that as well. Let's see. Now suppose I want to use the data of this particular worksheet. Can I use it over there with the help of referencing? Yes, I can. What I have to do, just put equal to sign and open the sheet that you want to use. And select the Excel that you want to use as reference in your current sheet. It will automatically take up the address. Press enter key after the end of the last cell address. Okay. And it will automatically take your data. Drag this fill handle and then it will ask you again to update all the links. Means if you want to link or not. So in case you want to link it, click on yes. If you do not want to link, click on no. If you click on yes, if you will make changes in your previous one, it will make the changes over here. If you will make changes in sales 2019, it will also change the data over here. And you click on no. The change in your session 2 2019 sheet will not be reflected over here. So I want to make changes, so I'll click on yes. I hope this is also clear to you. Next topic is hyperlink. What are hyperlinks? Hyperlinks are used in Calc to jump from one location to another within the same worksheet or another worksheet. You can also create hyperlinks to different websites that you visit. And you can create the link to create new document or spreadsheet that I will explain you through the example. Now, with hyperlink, we have two types of link, relative hyperlink and absolute hyperlink. Relative hyperlink means it's the local path, particular file is present. Absolute means the whole path. When you give the full path, it is absolute referencing. When you give only the folder and the file name, it is relative referencing. Let's understand it. Single slash means it is relative referencing. When we face single referencing, if you see the in the address there is only single slash it means it is relative referencing and if you have the double slash it means it is absolute referencing so this is the absolute referencing if i do not have this double slash over here something like this then it means it is relative referencing let's understand with the help of one more example now suppose if i write google over here it will give me the full path the absolute path and if i click on images it will be relative referencing you can see after slash i have the image page so it will give me only the images like if i want to find what if tools in calc it will give only me the it will give only the images then you have double slash. So this is the main directory. Let's understand again. So the very first one where your all data is stored, it's your main directory or root directory. After that you have subfolder, like images was the subfolder, then videos subfolder. So they are all, they are created like over here. Second is a subfolder under main. This is the root directory. So whenever you have the root directory, they is represented by double slash or two dots and your relative referencing uses only single slash and single dot okay single dot denotes the current folder while double dots denotes the parent folder or the main folder 